Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Karen. The last two days have been a little arduous, a little patient building. <laughs> and I was just about finishing my products. I mean, my um, the bumpers and everything and the presser foot fell off. So it was, it was kind of good timing, but I still had to hand sew a few things. So this is the new blanket for the nursery. And it has my little sheepy on the bottom, right there. And this sheet, crib sheet, I got at Burlington um, last month. And then I've looked around and looked around and looked around for a bumper. And I'm like, I might as well just make one. It is not the best. It has flaws. But I think that it really goes with the theme. And I'm very, very proud of it. So let's just start over here. And even though there's like no animals or anything, I did make the little taggy thing so you can wrap it around. That's not to see, there's like a little flaws here and there, but when you can see from like far away, it doesn't matter. So, and a couple of the bumpers were a little short, so I had to make just a little small couple of throws so that way it could fit in into the crib. So this is like a three thing bumper. And then that in the corner is like a little throw pillow. Then there's like a five padded bumper. And there's another little throw pillow in the corner. And then there's a three padded bumper. So the reason why I had to, to separate it was because it was going to be way too long for me to put the whole thing through the sewing machine. I mean, it was just, like I said, patient um, yielding task and when I get my presser foot back on the sewing machine this is just the um what's left of the fabric off the bolt that I've kind of tucked underneath the pillow the girl's pillow and I'm going to make a pillow case out of that for that pillow so I'm very happy this is my new theme theme is kind of like still sheep stars and moons and just stuff like that and I love Love, 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 the gender neutral coloring is just perfect. Um, and I got this blanket um, when I went to Burlington, which was on the 1st, which was last Friday. And I got, like I said, I got this sheet last month. Everything matches to a T. And this I got at Joanne Fabrics. And this is um, cozy, what is it? Cozy cotton or flannel. Nice and soft. And um, if you want to see everything, how I did it, hopefully those videos should be up in a few days. So I uh, want to make, go back and get a little bit more material next month just to make a bigger pillow. So that way it really fits in there and you can tell it might look like it's all together. And then I want to go on eBay and then I want to get something for my wall. Like, you know, the cow jumped over the moon or moon and stars stuff like that, or maybe get those um, glow-in-the-dark stars. That'd be pretty cute. So Mrs. Bear is up in the corner, and I still have my Baby's Love Nursery from um, Daddy's Daisies from this past Christmas. I left it out all year round. I'm not going to ever put it away. So I'm so excited, and I'm really proud of myself, and there is, you know, a few things here and there. But I also knew that when I did the, um, the bumper that I wanted it pretty high. So that is almost to the whole side, to the whole top, and that has a little bit more to go. But And then there's two tags on this one, and there is three tags on this one on the side, one right there, and then, but I need one again when my um, presser foot gets put back on my sewing machine. I want one right there and another one right there to really tie it down to keep it back off so I'm excited I was a lot of work it was a lot of work and through the whole thing I'm like man I should have just bought one you know but this is a one of a kind nobody else has this in the whole entire world it is mine it's one of a kind you know I'm very very happy with the finished product and like I said there's a few little pieces here and there that don't look all that great um but now that I see the overall picture, I'm very, 
very, very proud of myself. I am completely proud of myself. So what I did was I just bought um, off the bolt material and um, I cut it in sections of, this is a little bit shorter than what I wanted, but I cut it in sections that would be, and I didn't take into account that the more you puff up the material, the more shorter it's gonna get. But I still kind of like that little throw pillow. I can take this out and you can just see the whole corner. And then I can just take it and push it in and just bring it down again and kind of fluff it a little bit so that it looks kind of like the rest of the bumper. I'm so proud of myself, yay! I'm hoping that I can put my pressure foot back on and continue on with the rest of my fixings, like put another tag here and another tag there so it can get, and then I need to make another throw pillow there and make a pillowcase here. So I'm not done, but I am very happy. And so yeah, thank you guys for watching so much. I love you and oh, I'm so happy. I'm happy it's, it's done. I'm thrilled it's done. It took me about two days. About two days. Not all day every day, but two days. <laughs> and so here's it from this side. Really cute. This is not the best quality. This is the camera on my phone. And then here I'll come down and go to that side. Really, really cute. I love it. I love it. And the um, the fabric matches to a T. Those are yellow, mint green, and gray stars, and you can see, you can see that that's the same exact colors. I am so so happy. So yay! I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna go rest. I actually have a dentist appointment very early in the morning, so I have to get to sleep sometime tonight. And I'll uh, I'll see you on the YouTube land. Love you guys. Bye.